If you happen to be traveling from New South Wales to Queensland, or Queensland to New South Wales, you're going to, uh, by chance, come across this historic railway station in Wallang Wallangara, Wallangara. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that name. And I just came up from Tenterfield on the New England Highway. And in doing so, I thought to stop and just share this historic railway station with you. And there is a museum just inside the, uh, the building here, the station. There's also a nice little cafe, but here is the, uh, if you were waiting for the train back in the day, this would have been the, this would have been the platform. Now, I don't think that the train actually runs any longer. I could be mistaken, but uh, I think this is a more a bit of history than anything else. So I'm going to uh, just take you for a nice walk, albeit using my using my camera. It is a uh, it's a cool July morning. July being winter time down here in Australia. So I'm going to walk down, and there's a there's a nice cafe if you were to come and have yourself a nice morning morning cup of coffee. And uh, I haven't in, I actually started my trip here in the state of Queensland. So I, I was in this, uh, I flew into Brisbane, which is what I'm on my way to right now. And uh, I flew into Brisbane and I've been, I left the state oh, about two or three weeks after flying in. But uh, this is the, if you wanted to come and grab yourself a little, a little bite to eat. You could come in here and uh, get yourself some some pies or whatever else they might uh, might have here in the in the cafe. What a nice little place! Look at the uh, all types of wonderful uh, wonderful knickknacks. Look at some of the engines that they have here. Stuart Turner twin cylinder launch engine. Here's a four-column vertical steam engine and boiler. Very cool. This is Mary, a four-column beam engine. Not something. Actually, take you for a little walk. Now they have a. Uh, they actually have a museum just uh, on the other side of the station here. There's a nice plate that you might want to take home. Look at that. There's a kangaroo. You see, that'd be a souvenir to take home, or maybe you want to get a, get a koala. It's actually rather nice being back here in, uh, being back here in Queensland. It's been, been a little while since uh, I, I've been here, I've been traveling all, uh, traveling all around over the last uh, two or three, two or three months in beautiful Victoria and uh, Victoria and New South Wales. And now I'm headed, uh, headed into Queensland where I'm hoping for some warmer, warmer weather. So here is Journeys, Journeys and Junctions, Wallangara Heritage Center. And here they've got a bunch of information about this place. I won't be able to share it all with you, but it's got information about how Wallangara was born, its borders and boundaries, its good times and its hard times, booms and busts. There's some of the gentlemen there. Look at that. I'll share as much as of, of it as I can with you. Kumbawai, Kumbawai people, you see? There you go. Aboriginals, I would imagine. So they have a 
A lot of information here about the railway station. Actually, even the, I believe the floor found in the room entering the wine cellar, restored, retrieved and restored. Look at that. There's a, looks like an elephant. The amazing Alice steps up a railway wagon to push the musical anotrope vehicle. Really something. I don't know what this is. Keys? Look at that. Queensland's narrow gauge railway to the border opened in 1887. A year later, New South Wales standard gauge line reached Wallangara. Wonderful. Some folks waiting for the train. Across the Southern Highlands, it's fitting that we should introduce ourselves to the visitor at the border of Queensland. And here at Wallangara, where the inrushing express has suddenly transformed the station into a scene of bustling activity until the outgoing train just as suddenly carries the passengers away. Isn't that nice? Royalty comes to Wallangara. Well, Wallangara played host to more notable people than most country towns. Look at that. Not sure who that was, but royal visits were yet another activity of this life in the town. The Prince of Wales, there you see. The Prince of Wales is flanked by dignitaries beside the royal coach. That's something. I'm not quite sure who this is. That's the Duke and Duchess of York. Right there. And here's the Duke of Gloucester. 1934. Fantastic. These are children of World War I. There's a, uh, just in picture. Fantastic. You step in here and there's a... Between the narrow Queensland I think you would be... And the wider New South you sit South and watch South yourself a uh, nice little video runs right of the steam the train. Another plaque set in the border itself commemorates the surveying of the border which took three years from 1863 to 1866. The border seems to split some houses in two. Looking south to the New South Wales side, oh, I could share, sit here and share the whole thing with you, but of the good section of the interchange. I will uh, forego that. Over here you've got Wollongora at war. Join us in a victory job. Apply at your nearest national service office. That's something. British Commonwealth of Nations together. Careless talk costs lives. Fantastic. Wow. The timber guard rails are twisted. The troop train, 1943. Lest we forget. Passengers will never again look out across picturesque creeks. You know, I gotta tell you, I almost feel a little bit uh you know, being being here as long as I've been here, I almost feel like a little bit of an Aussie. That's something. Now here is uh, some newspapers. Britain stand against Germany. Mr. Chamberlain's bro broadcast. End of war announcement. The Tenterfield Star. Japanese left prisoners to drown. That's something. 
Look at the adverts. See that little advert right there? Get yourself some biscuits. Some, uh, what is that? Come down here and it's fashion right to color light your complexion. You see, hardly broad street complexion powder. Youth 16 to 18, train now for the RAAF ground staff. There you go. All right. Electra, Electra Lux refrigerators. There you go. Look at that. I'm actually doing a website for somebody, and that's one of the brand names, Electra Lux. I'll be darned. Work, safe, fight. And so avenge the nurses. Must have lost a hospital ship somewhere in the, in the battle. All right. A little bit more of the... But it was the point where the narrow gauge Queensland tracks... A little bit more of the film there. ...New South Wales track. Passengers would have to change trains to continue their journey north and south. What a nice... What a nice display. And some other... information there. Quite sure what those are. Here's some old time pictures. Now I actually did quite a famous rail rail trip here in Queensland several years ago. I think it was the Coranda Railway. You see some railway refreshment room staff in the heyday of the Wollongara Station, 1929. They actually had their names on there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tour of the War Warangara, Warangara Station. There's a, an outfit there that you might see a troop wearing, I think. So have a, uh, have a great day, everyone. Take, uh, take good care.